Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chrissy and I am the owner of Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. I am so excited for today's video. I can't even contain my excitement. This is an idea that I've had in my head for such a long time. If you guys have seen those really cool, magical, color changing potions, those really little cute, magical bottles, um, if you're like me, then you've probably seen them and were completely obsessed with how cool they look. The ball was rolling and I was like, I need to be able to make a cup like this. And I figured out how to make one and I'm so excited to share with you guys how I did it and how you can make one too. So if you are interested in finding out how to make this really cool color changing potion cup, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So first thing we need to get started with this project is of course our tumbler. I got this tumbler off of Amazon. This is a 24 ounce, just regular double walled acrylic tumbler. So next thing I'm gonna do is drill a hole on the bottom of the cup. Now, depending on where the widest part of your cup is, is gonna determine where you will drill the hole. Now you wanna be really, really careful when you're drilling this hole because you don't want to apply too much pressure to where you crack the cup or you drill directly through the inside wall. So you wanna make sure that you're drilling a hole only on the outside wall. So once I did that, I went in with a smaller nail bit drill and I just used that to kind of widen the hole just a little bit bigger so that I had enough space to put in the liquid and all of the stuff that I'm going to be putting on the inside of this cup. Now, once you've got that hole the way you want it, um, you want to make sure that any little plastic bits that may have gotten inside of the double wall is shaken out. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. So once you have all those plastic bits out, it is time to make the magic happen and create our little color changing magical concoction. And I'm super excited to share this with you guys right now. All I did was I went and got some filtered water. I filled a cup of that in a measuring glass that I have. And then I went and grabbed some alcohol ink. Now I decided to go with this color, which is called Stream. It is a really beautiful teal and I thought it would go perfect with the type of potion we are whipping up today, which is Mermaid Tears. After I got that all mixed up, I went ahead and grabbed my mica powder, which is this really beautiful metallic purple from Counterculture DIY. This is where the magical color changing happens. Now, one thing you wanna know when it comes to mixing mica powders is that they do not permanently mix in this liquid, which is water and alcohol ink. Yes, the mica powder will settle and that is where it creates the color changing effect. So once we got the mica powder mixed in there, I went ahead and grabbed a plastic pipette and I cut that tip off just to create a little bigger hole in my pipe. And now I'm just gonna start filling in that acrylic tumbler. Super easy, might take a little bit depending on how big your cup is, but you can see just how easily that is filling up. And we're gonna just go ahead and fill our cup up all the way to the top with this liquid. So you can literally do any type of color changing concoction or magical potion just depending on what kind of colorful base that you add and also what mica powder so really the possibilities are endless with this and i have a bunch of different other potion stickers and i cannot wait to make a whole set of these. I think they're so fun. I think they'll be awesome for Halloween and just for any spooky lover out there. Um, so I'm just gonna continue filling up my cup. I'm gonna fast forward just a little bit and then I'll show you how to seal this hole.
So once I have the liquid all filled up to the top, I'm gonna go ahead and clean that off. I'm gonna turn it around just to make sure everything looks good. So I kind of plug that hole with my finger, turn it around, shake it up. Make sure there aren't a lot of air bubbles. Now, if there's like one or two, that's okay. Um, but you don't want it to have a lot of space. You want it to be completely filled up to the top. So now I'm gonna go ahead and plug the hole. And usually what I used to do in the past was fill it with um, hot glue gun. But because of the area of where I had to drill the hole for this cup, I just went ahead straight in with UV resin. And I'm gonna go ahead and cure that with the light. Now I am using the UV resin by Counterculture DIY. And so I'm using their light also. This resin is really great and it cures super fast. 60 seconds was all that I needed for that first initial plug. Plug. Now, just to add a little bit something, I went ahead and put some glitter inside of a medicine cup and I'm mixing in some UV resin. This is going to go all over the entire bottom and it's going to close up that hole even more and just create just an added effect to the bottom of the cup. Not only does it look pretty, but it also gives um, added security to the bottom of where we plug that hole. And it's also going to ensure that the bottom of your cup is nice and even. So again, because of the area of where I had to drill the hole, plugging it with the UV resin would have caused a little bump on that side. So just to make sure that the bottom is nice and even, I'm gonna go in with this glitter mixture, make sure that the bottom is nice and even so that when we turn it over, it is nice and flat and we don't have a wide wobbly cup. This glitter color is called Gemini. It's a part of our Zodiac collection from Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. It is currently not in stock. None of the Zodiac collection is, but don't worry, we will have it back in stock very soon. So if you want information on when we launch products and restock, then follow me on social media and check out all of the information in the description down below for our website and all that good stuff. So I did go ahead and cure that initial glitter mixture for 60 seconds, again, using my CCDIY UV light. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and seal that all in for an additional smooth base, just with regular UV clear resin. Um, this is just gonna make sure that if there are any pokey spots or uneven areas with that glitter mixture, this is really going to make sure that the cup is nice and flat. So I'm just smoothing it out with my finger, making sure there aren't any areas of spillage on the outside of the cup. And I'm gonna go ahead and cure that with my light. So once the bottom is cured, now we can move on to the next step, which is adding our decal. And the decal I'm gonna be using, I actually purchased from Banff Customs. This is a clear cast decal. So it is a clear backing and you can put it on any cup. It will not fade it will not bleed none of that stuff so i am actually just going to lay this right on top of the acrylic if i wanted to go ahead and seal this in with resin i absolutely could but with this cup i'm not going to seal it in with resin just because the way the lid screws on um, and it's just my personal preference so I absolutely love these clear cast decals. They are so fun to work with, so easy to work with. You literally just peel the backing off, position it where you want it and smooth it on. Um, air bubbles are non-existent as long as you put them on the right way. And once these bad boys are on, they are not going anywhere. So I went and bought a bunch of different potion sticker stickers from her shop. So I can't wait to create more cups with different mixtures and colors. I'm just so excited. Um, this one is mermaid scales and I think the color combination just worked out really perfect. Now I did not share with you guys in this video, but I do go and rhinestone the lid as well. So in the next clip, you're going to see what the lid looks like once it's been rhinestoned. This is what the cup looks like now that it is done i did go ahead and rhinestone the lid like i mentioned before i think it really just adds something so special to this cup and i think it goes perfect with the mermaid tears and the whole color combination so I, once I let the mica powder settle, this is what the cup looks like outside. You can see the liquid is transparent, but it does have a blue tinge to it. So that is what the liquid looks like when we mix the alcohol ink, which was that color stream. The mica powder has settled all the way at the bottom. So once I shake it up, you're gonna see what happens when we mix up this potion.
So let's go ahead and mix up this potion and see what we get. I am so excited about this cup, you guys. You have no idea how happy I am to finally get this idea that I had in my head, in real life, in my hands, looking at it. So I really hope you guys love how this turned out and I can't wait to see the different cups that you guys make. I am just honestly obsessed with this cup. I'm so excited with how it turned out. So guys, if you decide to recreate this cup or create a cup similar using this mixture, definitely tag me. Let me see all of your designs and creations. I cannot wait to see them. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys next time.